Hey guys, today I will show you how to hook up Nintendo Switch to iPad using Janky Shadow Cast 2 dongle and enjoy stunning gaming visuals on this truly remarkable retina display of the iPad. So let's jump right in. Quick disclaimer, this is by no means a sponsored promotional video. Views, thoughts and opinions expressed solely belong to me, but anyone. First things first, let's make sure you checked all the boxes for these prerequisites. The very obvious one, iPad with iPad OS 17.0 or higher. UVC Viewer App, aka Jenky Studio App from the App Store, UVC Capture Card, aka Jenky Shadowcast 2.0 Dongle, USB C Display Cable, Nintendo Switch, and Dock. In just a few simple steps, you will be able to enjoy your favorite Nintendo games on a super massive screen of your gorgeous looking retina display of your iPad. Step 1 Insert the Jenky HDMI dongle into the HDMI port of your Nintendo Switch and connect the USB C to the other end of the HDMI dongle and connect the other end of the USB C cable to USB C port of your iPad. Step 2 Open the Jenky app on your iPad and BAM! You should see the Nintendo Switch display on your iPad by now. Woohoo! Unleash the new capabilities. You can even airplay to any airplay compatible devices like TV, projector, and whatnot. You can even do screen recording, take screenshots, and add just the FPS and screen resolution, so to speak. Wow, it's a divine blessing for the Apple iPad users. And hey, you know what? I'm not complaining anymore. Thanks to iPad OS 17 and this little midget, aka Janky. And this Janky is nowhere near to Janky. <laughs> Apple has finally poked a hole in the 10 feet that take paywall of an isolated Apple ecosystem and now allows video feeds or USB-C port of the iPad. Thankfully, it took decades, but not centuries, to allow video feed over USB. To simply put, with iPad OS 17 version, you can now hook up third-party video game consoles like Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PS, and whatnot to iPad and use iPad as your gaming monitor. Not just that, you can even connect webcams over USB-C to enhance the experience of your FaceTime video quality. Thank you so much guys for making it to the very end of the video. I hope this video was very informative. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already yet. And also smash the like button. Really appreciate your support guys.